Hello everyone, welcome back. I am on the way to Cincinnati, Ohio, home of the Buckeyes? No, home of the Bearcats, but I'm in Buckeye country and I'm bringing with me some of the good stuff. I'm selling, I'm trying to sell or trade some of my good stuff. Um, some stuff that's hot right now and then some of my like most expensive books in my collection. I'm trying to either upgrade my Hulk 181 or my Tomb of Dracula 10. I'm also going to try to sell some 9.8 modern books that I don't have as much interest in anymore and then quite a bit of raw books which you'll see here in a minute. So these were just some books that I pulled out um, that I thought you know would be interesting to some dealers or the comic shops but the plan was to go to the comic shops first before I went to Cincinnati Comic Expo. And if I could, I was wanting to sell everything at one time if possible. Now, some of this stuff is, you know, like $5 books, like $10 books, like $3 books. I mean, it's not like crazy, crazy stuff. But I just was going through some things and I just wanted to, to clear some space and then get some money so that I could buy bigger stuff. So so I, I went up there with eight short boxes. Um. Obviously, I wasn't going to be able to bring them into the convention, so the plan was to go to the comic shops first, try to move at a minimum the short boxes, and then see what I could get and go from there. I was kind of on a time schedule because I was leaving at like the crack of dawn, and then I was getting there in the afternoon, but I was giving myself enough time that I could still go to the convention a little bit that Friday afternoon because I think the convention opened at like 3. So it was kind of on a time schedule. Um, I really wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time in the comic shops like hunting. That wasn't my intention. My intention was to sell to get money for the convention. So if you guys have watched some of my previous videos, I've, I've done pretty well with selling and trading things but I've never done it in the north it's always been in the south not that that has any real impact so I thought but it it, it is a it was a factor so here here I'm bringing some like a little runs you saw a spawn run a Marvel Age run Denny O'Neill the question Booster Gold, Wonder Woman, George Perez here's a couple Superman runs like Adventures of Superman and then I was bringing this big Walking Dead collection that I acquired earlier this year, um, uh, hoping to, you know, m move that, as well as my Batman Rebirth collection. I, I'm not reading this anymore. Um, I've stopped collecting that run, um, so I'm moving on. So I, I had a plan. I wrote down my figures, my numbers of it, you know, kind of a ballpark of what I was wanting. And I was looking at like $14,000 for everything. So I'm off. And I get to the beautiful Cincinnati, Ohio. And it's already, it's kind of cold up there, but it's it's nice enough. Sun's shining. It's a beautiful day to sell and hunt some comics, right? Well, first place I go is this Up, Up, and Away shop. Again, I mean, the, the quality and the caliber of these shops is very, very good. The first thing that caught my eye was... This over here to the right with, with all those statues. That's kind of what I was drifting towards. So there was one gentleman in here buying, it looks like, and then one one gentleman was uh, behind the counter. So I go right over to the slab wall, and my plan was if they had decent stuff like trade bait, I mean, I would even consider trading, but I'm already seeing like books that are slab that I wouldn't necessarily have slabbed and they're in grades that I don't know why you would slab those so I don't know if they had gotten those in trades or you know were these guys that were sending in books that you know just were not that great so this was not the owner of the shop this is a huge factor if you're wanting to do something what I'm doing you, the owner of the shop needs to be there especially if you're dealing with like collections that are big like a significant amount like eight long boxes I mean I feel like that's a pretty a large amount of comics he was the store manager um, nice enough guy but it, it's funny like I, I kind of ask are you the, the 
you know, the owner and he, he kind of is like, no, but I'm the manager. And I'm like, okay, dude, yeah, you're, you're important too. I'm not discounting you. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying like (laughs) a lot of times the, the managers can't make these type of financial decisions, which I was correct, which you'll see here in a minute. I'm not going to bring in all of these short boxes. So I don't even really spend any time digging. I I think I'm digging right here. You can't really see it. The prices are stupid. I mean, I can't, I'm not paying for that for single issues. I mean, I think I'm just getting to the point where I'm not willing to pay that kind of money. So this is kind of my interaction for like the next 30 minutes. He's rummaging through my stuff and he's talking on the phone to this guy, you know, um, that this is the owner, this is the owner. So, and they're kind of making this decision the whole time. I'm just wishing I'm over there in the Trek shop looking at mountain bikes. But anyway, on to the next shop. We don't make a deal. He buys nothing. The next store is queen city comics or Queens comics. I can't remember exactly. This is a cool shop too. Bad parking, like literally nowhere to park, which was also an issue because remember, I have all those short boxes, so it's going to be tricky to bring them in. This is their key wall. Not great. Um, Again, the owner is not here. The owner is at the convention. So if you're doing what I'm doing where you're trying to go into shops before a convention, it's kind of maybe like a a lost cause in a lot of ways, especially if you're trying to get legitimate deals, because I can guarantee you if I had brought a stack of comics up there, guess how much money I would have had to pay for that stack of comics? Exactly what was on the cover. So there was no wheeling and dealing. This guy, I'm not trying to be disparaging, but I mean, he was kind of clueless to the things that I was asking. And I mean, I mean, I was just asking like general, general type questions. Anyway, this was a cool shop. Um, what was crazy was everything was bagged, but nothing was boarded. I've never been in a shop with this many books that were not boarded. So um, condition was obviously possibly an issue because, man, it, that's that's not really a great way to store books. But it looked like they were packed in there tight enough that, you know, you weren't you weren't getting a lot of damage. Um, a lot of figures here. Uh, you know, they had some uh, collected editions, a lot of trade paperbacks, which was kind of cool. I was looking at some Swamp Thing books. You know me. I'm always looking at Swamp Thing. Um, and the prices were, uh, what was that, like $11 or something? I can't remember. I mean, they were decent. I mean, it, it, it seemed better than the other shop, the Up, Up, and Away. But again, I wasn't, I'm not, I wasn't really wanting to spend any money at this point. I was either trying to sell, trade, or you know, to sell to get money to buy the big stuff at the convention because obviously you expect the big stuff to be at the convention. So Queen City Comics, cool spot, just didn't really it was it was not, you know, I, the owner wasn't there. It was not the situation for me. So um I start heading out of here and then I go across town to uh, the next shop and uh, this was, I was kind of running out of time at this point. So I hit up Paper Street Trading Company, which is a very new shop. And this was the, I met the owner and he was the coolest guy. Honestly, he was probably one of the coolest guys I met on this whole trip. And you're seeing him over to the left. What a cool dude. Um, I tell him just right off the bat, I don't even look through his shop, which I kind of regret because I was having an issue with time and you can see his reaction right there. I'm telling him what I have and he just is not, he's not in the market for buying that type of stuff right now. You know, I, I start saying like Hulk 181 ultimate fallout and he's just like, no, I can't, can't do that. So this is one of those videos where um, I show you my my wins and I show you my losses. This is a huge loss, kind of a waste of time in a lot of ways, to be honest, because I could have been using that time in another way, uh, saving some time, you know, traveling and whatnot. But guys, what do you guys think? If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Hope you guys enjoyed it and take care.